Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this condition. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome is a condition where the ovaries are not fully developed. Now to tell you briefly why it is important to know about this Second uh, symptom that is to uh, be uh, look at, looked forward for is the increased hair growth on the hair, chin, or the chest, which is called as hirsutism. Till date, we don't know what is the exact cause of PCOS, but there are multiple factors associated with it, according to the latest studies. Insulin resistance. Now, what do we mean by insulin resistance? Is insulin is a hormone. and it is a condition in which the cells are not responding to the insulin hormone the major major role of insulin hormone is to bring the sugars from outside the cells to the insides of the cells and when the insulin does not work at the cellular levels then we have increased levels of sugars in the body and from there starts the problem it can lead to high sugar levels it can lead to obesity it can lead to increased androgen levels and then the ovaries become the sufferers here now what happens in pcos that one egg is not able to take that dominant role so there are multiple follicles every 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 follicle starts to grow and they eventually are not able to the eggs are not eventually coming out of the ovary and this causes what is called as an ovulation and when there is an ovulation what happens to these follicles which are immature eggs they become a bit fluid filled sacs all around the periphery of the ovary and which is called as polycystic ovaries which appear as a beaded necklace appearance in the ultrasound and that is why the name given as polycystic ovaries the second problem that polycystic ovaries can cause is the metabolic syndrome itself and what do we mean by metabolic syndrome is the increased bmi obesity increased risk of cardiovascular diseases increased risk of stroke and increased risk of hyperlipidemia or increased cholesterol levels when you visit your gynecologist there are a set of blood tests the hormonal blood tests which can confirm the condition and then you will be also asked to do an ultrasound scan which can confirm the polycystic ovarian syndrome what are the important interventions or what are the measures that we can follow in day to day routine that can avoid or that can treat polycystic ovarian syndrome lifestyle interventions are the most important management uh, modality which to start with first thing is the physical activity any exercise whichever exercise you like whether it is walking running swimming cycling or going to gym for a strength training whatever suits a woman they should do it 5 days a week 45 minutes of moderate intensity exercise and the second important is look into your diet so your diet should be healthy should not be full of calories should be high in proteins go for fruits vegetables limit the intake of caffeine and go low on smoking